All right, what is going on guys? It is Ben here back with a brand new video and uh, this video is gonna be really cool I'm really excited to make it and uh, it's another unboxing video But instead of unboxing a video game a console or G Fuel It's something really really different a new keyboard mouse pad a mouse and a bigger mouse pad So here we got the black widow chroma then the Razer Firefly the Razer epic chroma and the Corsair mm 300 I've been wanting to get these for a long time and I was finally able to do it tonight and I'm really excited um, right now I just have the standard keyboard and mouse and like a $2 mouse pad from Walmart I'm just using the stuff that came with my PC and now I finally upgraded I mean everything else in my setup is upgraded so far the next thing I'm probably gonna get is different monitors these are two 32 inch uh, Samsung televisions that I like to use I don't know why it's just I've always done that I like bigger TVs I don't know why um, but yeah let's get right into this thing okay first we're gonna be unboxing this this thingy right here, the Corsair MM300 mouse pad, and it's pretty, pretty big. God, the struggle. Here's the box, it's empty now. So that's what that looks like. It looks pretty cool, actually. I didn't know it was that big. That's gonna go like right here. It's gonna start from here, probably go down to there. Pretty cool. Oh yeah, look at my shaker for the day. Harambe. Just kidding, I know that's not Harambe. Well, anyways, there's that. The next thing we're gonna do, uh, let's do the Firefly. I'm really excited about this one. I literally have no idea how to open this thing. There it is. Right there. I don't have a knife, so I <laughs> use my keys. I can't prepare it. Okay, uh, this is what the back of the box looks like. Just telling like different things, like specs and everything else and all the colors you can do. And it also uh, specifies the fabric used in order to make this thing. Pull out one flap. You got the other one. Bam. What's this? Congratulations, there is no turning back. A weapon is no use if you are unable to maximize its potential. This is cool, I've never had anything like this before. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, subscribe to our YouTube. Okay, the first look at the Firefly. Pretty dope. So here we have the Firefly outside of the box. Um, this is pretty much all it consists of. There's the back for it so it doesn't slide. Yeah, it's a little booklet it came with. And there's something else in here too. Oh, we got some Razer stickers. Oh, that actually looks pretty dope. I have those in my G Fuel sticker collection. Okay, so yeah, here's the Firefly again. So, so far we got the Firefly and we got this huge mat over here. I just got the box put back together and I stuck it over there. I literally keep the boxes for everything just in case like, you know, when I move out because I'm not gonna live here forever. Um, I have boxes to everything over here including my PlayStation, my Xbox, my 360, my computer, my webcam, my mic, my headset, my mix amp. I also have some other things too, I just can't, oh yeah, my controllers and my uh, charging dock and that's all I can think of at the moment. <laughs> So the next thing we're gonna do is the the next thing we're gonna do is this epic chroma mouse right here I honestly checked out a couple of them my second choice. I like this one because it's wireless I don't know if that's gonna be good or not, but worst comes to worst I can always get a different one in the meantime of me being at Best Buy That's where I get everything literally I looked at a Logitech mouse and I just like the way it fit in my hand But I want everything to be able to synchronize like color wise and stuff because I think that'd be kind of cool And if you guys actually know me, I mean hell look at my shakers over here See my pink one? I like bright colors. It's just me. I don't know why. It just stands out more. I like that kind of stuff. But anyways, back to unboxing this beauty right here. Oh, there's a tape right there on top. Okay, I got it on the top. Just slides out. The struggle. Trying to do this with one hand is real. Okay. So yeah, it literally just slides off. A little casing and whatnot. So I'm going to set that over there for now. And not to figure out how to open this thing. Does it just pop up? It should, that's what it feels like. Yep, pops up from that side, there we go. And here we have, we got more Razer stickers. <laughs> that's my, now Razer collection. Um, we have a little booklet here. Same thing as the other one, literally. And uh, actually, let's, let's check this out. Actually, we got two of them this time. This one's kind of like a exclusive rewards for the Razer Faithful. Cult of Razer, so I'm in a cult now, guys. This shit's going too far. Okay, now let's just open this up. Got that, oh my. God, it's beautiful. Oh my God, it's freaking gorgeous. It fits. Oh, listen to the click. That sounds really freaking nice. I'm not used to having cool PC stuff. I'm more or less of a basic computer guy. There's the buttons you can actually program to do cool things right there. Here's the little scroll thing right here. I don't know what those do. And yeah, rubber sides. It's pretty sick, actually. 
No, I can't get the box back. There we go. And I'm literally struggling right now. Here we have the charging dock. Pretty cool too, actually. It's like a gel on the bottom. Bam, doesn't fall. That's nice. And I'm guessing it sits. You see this right here? It's magnetic. Watch. See, that's so cool. And this actually sticks to a surface. So I don't know exactly where I'm gonna put that at right away. And then the last thing in this box is the charging, which I'm guessing this is a USB right here. Yep, and this thing plugs into the little dock. Also, it's like just another phone charger, honestly. Yeah, well, that's it for the mouse. Let's put everything back in here and make it look nice. Okay, really quick though, watch. Is that not crazy? And this is only a box too, that's that's pretty awesome for just a box. Out of my collection of boxes. Okay, now the grand finale, the Black Widow Chroma. I would have gotten a tournament edition, but I honestly don't care. I just like the sound of the keyboard, honestly. Okay, the tapes up here at the top, right there. So let me cut that real quick. Okay, we just got this cut open flaps up just like that just like the rest of the boxes and then uh, thanks babe all right let's let this down real quick so i don't know my luck i'd probably freaking break it or something oh just hold the box push the box teamwork holy shit there's nothing else in the box literally that's the back of it toss that over there and this is what we have press it okay i just took it out of that thing right there and first thing that moves is this it's literally just a hollow thing right there. I don't know, does it come out like that? Don't, don't rip it. Got it out. Actually, just give me a second, let me get the cords out. Actually guys, let's check this out. I'm gonna keep it just like I would anything else. I like to open literally everything, anything ever comes with. This is what it folds out to be, and here we have, I guarantee you, the same thing. Oh, looky there, more stickers. And then we just have, you know, the little booklet. It tells you how to probably program the lights and everything. We have a thank you letter. And then a cult initiation letter. And I'm just gonna throw all this stuff back here for now. Oh yeah, the texture is definitely cool. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But yeah, it looks pretty dope. It feels kind of cool too. Oh, I didn't even notice that. And she pointed that out. This one has the same texture too. Yeah, she pointed that out too. Um, the little cord that came with the mouse and the wiring for the uh, keyboard have the same texture and it's kind of like fabric, like rope-like and it's pretty awesome, you know, I figured it'd just be like a basic cording, but I was wrong. It really took me almost 45 seconds and almost a minute to get everything off this cord right here. But yeah, we have different audio inputs. We have two USB, in focus. We have two USB um, cables right here. And then yeah, we have the keyboard. Now let's put everything back in the box. So with all that stuff being shown to you guys, all that stuff right there, um, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna put all these boxes in my closet. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit like what I have, like everything I have. Ugh, I need to open that door a little bit more. Anyways, that's like my gaming stuff right there, literally in all my shoes. But yeah, it's all my gaming stuff. I just keep all the boxes. Like I said, I might be moving. I could travel. I could go stay at a friend's house. You know, I don't have to worry about breaking anything on the way there. And um, as an outro to this vlog sort of deal. I'm gonna show you the finished project. I don't know how long it's gonna take us, me and the girl right there, to hook it up, but it's gonna be cool. And I have definitely have the space for it. Like I said, in my birthday vlog, I bought a shelf. I put it together and put all my consoles and my PC on there to give me a little bit more space. And yeah, let's see what the finished product looks like. All right guys, like an hour and a half later, we finally got everything hooked up and it looks really awesome. Check this out. I'm gonna start over here. You got my Astro Mix amp. You got my keyboard, you got the mouse, you got the firefly, and then you have the whole thing. Anyways, yeah, that's gonna be the video guys. Hope you all enjoyed this. I'm really excited I'm gonna find a different pattern for all this stuff. I mean, this is like really basic I'm gonna try to get like a little more advanced with it. I'm new to it I've never had anything like this before in my entire life and I'm 
It's pretty cool. And if you guys would like to see an entire setup video going through all the specs for everything I have and everything I use, just let me know down in the comments. I'll for sure do that. I'm, I'm actually, I would be really, really excited to do something like that. I don't know, I just like talking about equipment and setups and stuff like that, but if that's something you're interested in, like I said, just leave a comment down below. Be sure to drop a like on this video. I've been dealing with all this stuff since about 7 o'clock. It is currently almost 2 a.m. in the morning, and I do have a story to tell about something that happened tonight, too. The reason it took so long, it's a funny story. At least, I didn't I didn't think it, it was actually funny at all. Well, anyways, it's in Van, guys. I'll see you back in the next video.